what's up so today we're gonna switch it up a bit i haven't done an art video in quite a while because they take so long to do and uh homework is a thing you know this weekend i have a pa day i have an extra long weekend so i thought i'd bless you guys with a terrible art video aka 10 minutes of me making self-deprecating jokes i woke up at 6 a.m today it's currently 6 30 <laughs> and we are on a bit of a time crunch today because I have practice at 11.30, so I need to be out of here by 11. This is just gonna be a mad dash, okay? Like, it's gonna be like the Amazing Race Canada in an art video. I still haven't introduced what we're doing. Okay, today I'm going to take a second stab at making a self-portrait. I did paint myself two months ago, and uh, the results were underwhelming to say the least, so I thought I'd try to draw myself today because you may not know this, but uh, I have actually like to draw with charcoal. It's a lot easier than painting. You have a lot more control. It's all around a more enjoyable experience. Also, if you're wondering why I'm talking like this, it's because my parents are asleep and they would absolutely whip my buttocks if they found me this early. I feel like also when you become a mother, your hearing just gets 10 times better. Like it becomes that of an eagle. You can hear things from 10 miles away. Like I swear I'll be at school, I'll burp, and my mom will just come crashing through the window and be like, what was that, Missy? The photo I will be drawing today is the exact same one I used to paint my self-portrait. I'd like to take a quick moment to apologize for how pretentious it is. Uh. I hate taking selfies, and as much as I wanted to take a photo like this, I mean, let's just take a moment and appreciate how perfect these photos are. Like, I have never looked better. Unfortunately, I don't have the talent to draw something as beautiful as that, so I had to take a snobby-looking selfie. It will never happen again. So yeah, today it's gonna be a calm video. Sit down, relax, get a snack, read a book, and just watch me lose my mind. So first I need to start off with an outline. I usually just do this in pencil. I'm really bad at proportions. I can't look at a photo and then just trace it on a piece of paper. I'm sorry, I'm just not that talented. So we're gonna do things the old-fashioned way. We're just gonna measure it out. I can hear all the pseudo artists attacking me, but then again, I am one. Let's just dive right in. So I've been playing with it for like two hours now. My parents did wake up, so I can talk a little bit louder now. To be honest, not that bad. We're on the right track. Watch me just completely mess up later, okay. Also, don't mind these boxes here. It's my camera setup, so. So next we have to put in the shadow, which is pretty much the dark parts. For this, I do something pretty unconventional. Actually, I don't know if it's unconventional. I did it in art class once and my teacher literally almost passed out. I use a charcoal powder with an eyeshadow brush. This is from Joe Fresh. It works for me, I think. By the way, this charcoal powder, it's extremely pigmented. I will pay anyone $10 if they can put this charcoal powder on their face. And another $10 if you survive. <coughs> I'm looking a bit like a makeup tutorial gone wrong. I've been listening to a lot of Ariana Grande these past like two weeks and I'm not sure it's a good thing. Actually, no, it is a good thing because she's an absolute queen, but I never really listened to her all that much until her last album came out and I'm just worried that I'm going to start finding Pete Davidson attractive. You know, drawing portraits, it's very humbling because you get to see that you're not that perfect after all. Me, I've got blackheads. I'm brave. Breaking out when I took this picture. I have eczema. So yeah, if you want to lower your self-esteem, definitely do this because you get quantitative proof that you are not perfect. So now that we're done with this black powder, I'm going to go in with the charcoal pencils. Yetus fetus bobetus. Hi. <laughs> I am back 
from my battle with Aquaman. Poseidon and I, yeah, we went at it. We fought in the pit. So I was not able to finish it before practice. Now I'm gonna keep going and hopefully I can finish it in like three or four hours, but I don't think I will. <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> I would just like to say that I have the utmost respect for my iPod Shuffle. It has kept me going since grade three. Ever since I downloaded my first Taylor Swift album, this guy, he's been right beside me, you know? Everyone has to invest in one of these. Six figures I was only four. Okay, so now that I'm looking like a hairless mole rat, I need to put in some hair, obviously. And I think we're gonna start with the eyebrows. Okay, but like, why is this like low-key terrifying? Like, I kind of look like Jeffree Star with the no eyebrow thing. Except that Jeffree Star looks way better than I do. Why? Okay. Mm, that's not what I was supposed to do. I need to sharpen this. You wanna know how I sharpen these pencils? <laughs> In case you haven't realized, safety is of the utmost importance on this channel. <laughs> that is so wrong. What is that? Oh my god, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm gonna um, improvise and use a Kleenex. I'm sorry, I really need to be less self-deprecating. It's not funny. Is it just me or am I like kind of cross-eyed? Now for the other one. They need to be identical twins. Not cousins, not sisters, not even fraternal twins. They need to come from the same egg. Okay, that was like too deep. Mm-hmm. Do you hear that? I wonder who it could be. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, okay. It was Chief. He said, this ain't it. <laughs> that was the worst joke I've ever made. <laughs> Great, so now that we're done, those caterpillars. It's time to tackle the hair. Now, in the photo, I have a ponytail because <laughs> catch me with my hair down, I dare you. I was born with my hair up and I will die with my hair up. It's either that or I will just shave off all my hair and I'll just be one bald and beautiful lady. I mean, obviously, if I was bald, I could just stop right here and I'd be finished. But I'm not bald because my mom will kill me. Let us begin. Okay, so here's the dealio. When I did my painting, the hair was where it really went downhill. And here, it's the same thing. Like, I look like a lizard person trying to wear a wig. So I'm gonna try and finesse it off camera and see if I can, you know, figure something out. So, okay, I'm back. And I was able to do a little bit of corrective work with the hair, not much. We're not gonna talk about this section. I have no idea what happened there. However, I think it looks a little bit better than my painting, the hair so far at least. Now, the last thing that we have to do is put on the highlights. I'm gonna go in with my Jeffree Star Skin Frost highlight. I mean, this Conte pencil. It's just white charcoal pretty much, kind of, not really. I always go overboard with this because just like highlight, you can never have enough. Wish me luck and hopefully I don't blind you with this Conte. It is best to wear sunglasses while I do this section. I'm already wearing mine, so. It's 8 p.m. The highlights, yeah, let's talk about that real quick. I went overboard with the highlights for the thousandth time. I look like a glazed donut compared to my painting. This one looks more like the photo than that one. And this was way less painful to do also. My forehead, it's extremely shiny and it could blind someone. It's the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit. Nah. Okay. Yeah, now that I'm looking at this one again, the hair is just completely messed up. Like, what even is that? As for the face, it's decent. 
person, but I think this one looks more like me, or at least the photo. Now, the only thing left to do is sign this beautiful masterpiece, well, quotations around beautiful, frame it, and hang it somewhere where it can be appreciated. So let's just do that right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you guys clicking on this video and watching it through, if you're still watching for that matter. And I'll see you guys next week. Love you.